Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this cool pop-up widget for Spotify or any other audio players that you have on your computer um, completely free and easily. Okay, um, it's not using Rain Meter, which most of you probably will be thinking initially, but this is using a different program, which I'll get to in just a second. And it's really easy to use, install, and it's really simple. So uh, basically what it is, it's a widget. It disappears after a couple of seconds if you're not clicking on it, right? Um, and then to make it reappear, you can just change the volume. Uh, I, have, I have it on my keyboard, so once I change it, it just pops up again. And you can have multiple things. So if you know, I have this that I'm um, on one of my browsers, right? Uh, a YouTube video, so I can do that from here also, as well as I have Spotify running um, as well. So uh, you guys can see that I can control the volume bar over here, move this wherever I want and wherever I put it, it will be in that location the next time I open it. So it wouldn't be in your face every time um, you need to move it. So there is, that's pretty much it. So to install it is you want to go to the Windows, uh, the Microsoft store and search for modern flyouts. Okay. Uh, you want to just install that and then open. It's really simple, really small, easy to do. So once you open it, you will get something like this that pops up. So this is basically just settings for it. Um, and you can do whatever you, when you want, you know, run at startup, uh, modern flyouts, system language, personalization. You can choose uh, which theme you want for it. Um, the opacity, basically how visible and hidden you want it to be. Right. So you guys can see it's, it's pretty much like see-through right now. I can see the folders behind it and now I can't. So that's basically that um, icon trade. So this is the icon trade down here, right? Um, over here, you can see this is the tool tip for that right there. And that's pretty much it. The behavior, you can change the milliseconds, how fast it should fly out. All right, layout. So now layout is basically where you want it to be. All right, um, I have it set to the top right. So that's my default position. I can make it center and you gotta just let it save a bit. Oh, well, it, it probably won't work because I already moved it to that location, right? So, um, so yeah, so I, I already have it moving. So it, you kind of have to like restart it. But that, that's perfectly fine because, um, you know, when you move it, it saves the location that the location is supposed to be in. All right. So fly out direction, auto, uh, expand direction. Okay. That um, audio. So now this is where you set which ones you want to see, right? Uh, the thumbnails and all that enable audio fly out. So that's like the widget on the bottom that you see. All right. Next one, the brightness, airplane mode and lock keys. So you want to show the fly out for cast lock, num lock, insert, right? So it's basically when you press a button, it will um, notify you that you press that button in this fly out. So, you know, you know I, I mostly use it for the audio, so I really don't even need this, right? So now if I press it, nothing happens. So that's pretty much it, you know, really simple to use. Um, really cool idea that they have, um, you know, really nice widget. Personally, I love it. I always use it um, on my computer. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.